Wow, there is one drone already dispatched. When Steve Jobs chose this city, no one imagined a fishing village will turn out to be a hardware engineering capital of the world. It is also said that if Apple chose any city, that would become hardware engineering capital of the world. But now, this country and this city is not just about taking production from 1 to 100. Real innovation is happening here. Some of it might be overhyped, some of it might be actually true. Today, I'm going to show you the real leap of China's strength in advanced technologies such as self-driving, drone deliveries, and what is the truth behind it. Hello everyone to Shenzhen China. I am right behind drone delivery that I can experience in the heart of Silicon Valley of China. This is called Meituan Drone Delivery, which is Uber Eats of China. We're going to experience it because in China, it's believed there are three kinds of knowledge in the world. Number one, tools. Number two, instructions. And number three, processed or practical knowledge. It's like, you know, you can build a swimming pool, learn how to swim, but the actual knowledge you learn is by actually doing things. That's why China is way ahead. They say that, like, you know, since 2000, 2007, when they learned to assemble million parts of iPhone here, they could use that same practical knowledge and expand in something called as drone, which is right here. I'm going to experience it. Here are the steps. You can actually go to the WeChat, scan this QR code of Meituan, or you can directly use Meituan app as well. But here, WeChat is all in one app. You scan this QR code, select address, choose food. You can order drinks. This is Chagi. This is the bubble tea place, which is very famous. It's in New York City as well. And some of the local restaurants, KFC, you choose it. Chicken burger, mango smoothie. I'm gonna choose none other than the cheapest mango smoothie. All right, so paying Meituan using my WeChat Pay and I'm gonna use my fingerprint. Verified and done. So now the current time is 1.35. Let's see how long this drone delivery takes. All right, dosto, I think my mango smoothie is right there. I'm so excited. Let's see if it is actually there. It says 2.12 to 2.22, I think it is it. 20 minutes and done, wow. So cool. I believe these drones are by DJI, but I don't see it. Wow. Here we go. I have seen so far two drone deliveries, but the first one no one came to pick up. I'm just gonna pick up mine. Oh, the drone is ready to fly back. Okay, drone is ready to fly back. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh -huh. Oh, there is another one coming. There are two in the air. They have so many. Look at this, one there, one just left. It's just back to back. Maybe this has my smoothie, who knows. This delivery is actually more expensive than human delivery right now because it's a touristy thing. I got this mango smoothie for 22 yuan. I think approximately like, you know, $3 or something. But if I go to a store, it's obviously gonna be cheaper, like 16 yuan. All right, just like you track your driver, I can track my drone as well. It says my drone is actually still at the place. It's picking up the smoothie and it's gonna be soon here. Pickup is actually ready. I suddenly got the notification. It took 17 minutes, still cool. It estimated 30 minutes, but not as cool as 10 minutes, but still very cool. Let's type my code. So it's processing. All right, come on, come on, come on. Come on, give me my smoothie. Taking it's good to 10 to 20 seconds here. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a big box. I didn't need that big box, but fine. So this is the box that drone carries. I think this is the grip for the drone. Mate one box, pretty cool. Let's unbox it. Oh wow, there is my smoothie. So cool, I got my smoothie. I can now return this box. So this is where my smoothie was. 
and let's close this box let's read the instructions so you're supposed to like take out this oh then it falls apart automatically you just take out this stuff out of the box and then it's reusable it falls apart and you put it back in pretty cool environmental friendly now let's chase the drones to find out how this technology works so when it lands it actually turns off and then flies again Everywhere I walk, I find EV chargers. The city has now total more EV chargers than gas stations. So this is the helipad place dedicated for drones. It, it is not near, very close to the skyscrapers. That's why it's safe. They bring the food from those restaurants right for the drone and then drone takes it off. So this is the drone center uh, and they're going to pack a drone right in front of me. So this is Chagi's bubble tea. They are packing in a box. It's a reusable box. They're going to pack it. So a person actually brings it right from the Rainbow Mall right here. Now it's packed. They weigh it if the weight is okay. Oh, wow. And they have so many drones ready. They send it in this. They scan it. Now that drone is ready. I mean, it's a lot of steps, a lot of humans involved, two humans involved here. And there we go. That drone is ready. There are two drones on the helipad. There we go. A oh, one drone is already coming back. Wow, this is so cool. This is heaven of drones. And these are not DJI drones, by the way. Oh, wow. This is like a tourist place. You can see drones going in, coming back. So cool. Okay, so that drone came on the farthest helipad. Now they will move it from the landing helipad to the launching helipad. And this is where they have written the story of the drone delivery. It's written in Chinese. I'm going to translate and then learn more. These are not DJI drones, by the way. One is called the, the Moda. The other one is Diva Innovations. One is FL Intelligence. Like this is like hardware engineering hub. If you can imagine if there are like 200 like companies which source products for the iPhone, 70 are in Shenzhen, more than India, Vietnam and rest of the world. So like if 200 parts go into iPhone, 150 come from China, 70 from Shenzhen itself. And that's more than the whole world, rest of the world. That, that's why Shenzhen becomes like one of the most powerful hardware engineering city in the world. When he broke the world record of highest amount of drones flying together, that is 3051, and then kept on breaking the record, research, innovation, and drone deliveries, the drone shows, it just exploded. What if I told you the most advanced technology in China is not BYD, it's not Tencent, but actually Pony AI, which is the self-driving car company in China, which has completed 32,000 plus kilometers in China. Let's say Waymo has completed 100,000 plus miles, that is 160,000 plus kilometers in the US, then China is of course one tenth of that level with Pony AI, but Pony AI is leading. It's going to be soon launched in Dubai and Europe, trying to navigate outside US and outside China sooner than Waymo. Let's see what happens and today I'm going to take a ride inside that. So hi everyone, I am actually using this taxi app called Didi to book a ride. I can actually use WeChat directly. So if I close this app, this is my WeChat. I can tap on DD here, search for DD, order tax right here, tap on DD after searching for it. The taxi app opens. I have enabled translation. Just give it a second. It will translate. Now it has translations on. 
uh, this phone has translated every app so it takes a second but it now has translated and this is my ride I'm just waiting for it Today I'm going to try finally the self-driving car Pony AI in China but before that I'm taking a ride in China's another popular EV brand called Xiaoping. So China has at one point 2019 500 plus EV manufacturers with competition they are now around 100 so there are 100 brands you can imagine but I am in one called Xiaoping which means little bird just like xiaomi which is the third biggest smartphone brand in the world which means little rice this means xiaoping it is a buddhist philosophy that you should call yourself small even if you become big so anyways so this car is pretty cool this is like a twenty thousand dollar ev with sunroof it's very popular it has sold hundred thousand plus cars in china already and from here i'm going to a stop where Pony AI, the self-driving car company, will pick me up because it is not everywhere in Shenzhen, China. So there are some spots, there's a map where I can choose the destination and take a ride from. So we are going to take the ride from that pickup point where I'm allowed to. There is a popular saying in China that like if US is good with taking startups zero to one, China is best in one to hundred, which includes production, which includes taking or scaling things, you know, 10x, such as this car, which has, such as BYD, which has scaled so much, such as diffusion. These words are associated well with China and people predict that in future, China would be able to do more zero to one as well. All right, time to book my self-driving car. I can use WeChat as well, but I'm going to use the Direct Pony AI app. So to make sure that it is a self-driving car that's going to pick me up. Majority of the cars here are EVs I see in Shenzhen, China. Look how many green license plates. I am going to try a self-driving car in China, which is called Pony AI. It's not completely as successful as it is in San Francisco with Waymo because Waymo has completed like, you know, 170,000 plus kilometers, 100,000 plus miles. This company has completed like 33,000 plus kilometers. It's not everywhere in Shenzhen. So that's why I took a taxi to come here to try it out. And I'm using Pony Eye app to book it. So come on. Oh, now a lot of blue cars, blue license plate suddenly. These all are blue. <laughs> it's just a matter of time, but 50% of the cars sold in this city last month were EV with green license plate. So I have the car coming in around eight minutes. This is going to be the car by the brand called GSC AI on. So there are three companies, three companies serving Pony AI self-driving taxi in China. Three companies partnering with Pony AI. Number one is none other than Toyota. Toyota is the biggest investor in Pony AI. And you know, Pony AI should not be called just Chinese. It's a Chinese American company. It started in Silicon Valley, Fremont, California. Then it came to here to actually start kickstart because they said that in their speech that the government supports their business. They are flexible. It's easy to do business in China from zero to one as much it is in the US. So they chose China as their starting point. And now they're expanding to Europe, Dubai and later in America as well. They're listed on Nasdaq as well. These are BYD buses, which are EVs as well. BYD makes taxis buses and even trains on their campus and here is an older ev byd as well which is super old right now evs from byd looks so fancy the biggest problem with pony air taxi i've seen is it is really slow i have waited 600 seconds 10 minutes already still five minutes more even in non-traffic peak times Okay, there we go. The car is here. Hi. It's coming with the driver now? Interesting. It's not gonna come to the sidewalk? Interesting. I tried it and it's coming with a driver. His hands are free. Huh? Okay, now it's opened. I have to unlock it from my... Alright. 
Ni hao. Interesting. I have booked this taxi two times. Both times it's coming with the driver. Welcome on board. Driver. Please enter the last two digits of your phone number to start your ride. It's in English already. That's good. I agree to the terms and conditions. Start ride. We are about to start. Please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Cabin AC is on. You can adjust speed and direction via rear vents manually. You can contact us by tapping the assist button. Let's see. The sunroof is already closed. They should have opened it. Uh, okay, it's ready. It's trying to take a U-turn. Let's see how good it is. I will say it managed. Pretty cool. Pretty impressive. I'll still say that Waymo is far ahead because, like, you know, for I saw how it picked me up. It was struggling to pick me up, get into my lane to pick me up. Waymo is definitely far ahead, and I think sometimes they allow this car to be driverless. Sometimes they're you know having a driver i booked two times both times with driver and let's see what what else you get in this menu i wish there was a button to open the rooftop but you got the trip view this is in chinese even though i chose english because the navigation is still going to be in chinese i am like 10 minutes away it's slower than other cars look how other cars are just overtaking like you know like this car can also this lane can also go straight so but like this car chooses to stay in the slower lane it's not aggressive as like Waymo can be sometimes now talking about music you can play music let's see yes and there's no like search button to play hindi or bollywood or hollywood music but just like some selected song some songs uh i can pull over i can have assist and i have this wikipedia where i can see some of the videos of safety instructions and some pony videos i believe because it's, it's pretty loud so let's mute and yeah so don't sit uh, some instructions don't sit on the front seat don't touch the steering wheel i guess someone was touching that's why they have the driver here now uh, who knows but pretty cool so far and this is the Toyota car Lexus and Lexus is owned by Toyota so Lexus is being used many times I believe this is their EV but Toyota their gas car is also being used sometimes Now we are getting narrow streets with this car. Let's see how it performs. All right. It nailed it. We are in high traffic zone. Uh, the guy stopped. It's able to manage pretty well, I'll say. The driver sitting there doesn't have to engage it stopped for this car pretty cool um it is pretty good for china's road so far uh, so now it is showing me the right camera view i can get out all right it's safe pretty cool oh, love the experience wow and this is the ev gac car self-driving taxi pretty cool i think waymo is still far ahead they say that they're trying to reach thousand cars in the country they currently have 250 self-driving cars that's why that's why the wait time is pretty high they don't have a license plate i just noticed so i can't tell it's ev or not ev but it's pretty interesting while robot innovation is crazy happening here but 
not everything is perfect. I have struggled waiting for eSIM here. All phones sold don't have eSIM compatibility. I bought Huawei for similar reason, which you can watch the video right here.